A Guide for Beginner Stage 3 Alchemists, Generation 6, 428. This guide is for Volume 1, Parts 1 and 2, and Volume 2, Part 1. A Liliment. The name of a repetitive and unique trait that involves transitioning oplitals into another form. Aliliments are also classed between each other based on their properties as well. Aliliments is the term given for each unique property of oplital conversion. Kasai, Hydro, Tekaration, Denkai, all of those are aliliments. Magic is used to describe in a general sense, such as color is to red and aliliment is to Zokoshkan. Efficiency. Efficiency is how well the oplitals convert in the usage of an aliliment. Stages are the increments of maximum outputs of a particular aliliment. The order of stages from worse is stage 3, then stage 2, then stage 1, and then ace is the best. A 55 efficiency at stage 3 would use as much oplitose as a 75 efficiency at stage 2, for example. This is different for each aliliment. Even though both will take the same amount of, of uh, oplitals, the stage 2 variant will be more prominent in power. Oplitals are defined numerical value that states a very accurate picture of how much pure energy is stored within one's body. The amount of oplitals in an individual has is determined by these factors. What season they were born in, what Sarah they were born in, the oplital count of their parents, and nutrition intake while aging. The most important factors are their birth sera and oplital count of their parents. Oplitals at youth are very low and rise exponentially during the adolescence phase of the life. Oplitals are counted by Zoka strength stage three efficiency one. For every second, it counts one oplital. At a higher efficiency, this one oplital could hold this stage 3 and strength dynamic much longer than one second. At 100 efficiency, for example, one oplital would probably last an entire day. The reason characters and divine credence drain oplitals so fast is because, number one, they don't have 100% efficiency. Number two, they use sustained casting, which allows them to use other aliliments one after another without needing to stop the initial aliliment being used. This causes even more oplitos than just using one aliliment as a whole. Number three, they use their stage output to its highest amounts in bursts. Number four, they use ikase to power up even more, which doubles and sometimes triples the amount of oplital use. Pure energy, the physical state of oplitals, once in this state, cannot be refined back into pure oplitals. Pure energy is like the human intestines. It is very compact, but can be stretched very far. Because it is raw, and you can only exert exactly what form, shape, size, and density, it is not considered an aliliment. However, pure energy will override majority of other aliliments if used in a combat sense. The only exceptions are when multiple aliliments are being used as in a personal cast or the amount of oplitals used in an aliliment is triple the oplital count of the pure energy. The aliliments that will be discussed are arranged in pairs for simplicity. Zoka strength increases the power slash force of the user's motions involving the intentions of attacking or displacing an object. Type 1 is increasing the pushing force of the direct impacting point. The damage to the receiver relies on what they impact after the initial hit. The more weight or force they contact before and afterward, the more damage they take. Type 2 is increasing the direct impact force, which allocates all the power into the impacting point, damaging the receiver directly with no knockback. Zoka strength is heavily manipulative, as most characters switch between the two different types quickly between their hits and actions. Zoka strength also increases sensitivity of the body that it is affecting. If a character is lifting something up only with their arms using Zoka strength, the weight of the object only will exert on that part of the body. Zoka strength also drains stamina moderately. 
its drawbacks are only felt once an individual sustain its low or when they are stunned from another individual using Zoka strength. Zoka hearing allows the user to control how sensitive their ears are and in what direction they want the sensitivity to amplify. The ear sensitivity comes from unique substances being formed around and inside the ear that helps the inner ear receive more definition. These substances act like eardrums as well. However, because of this, specific frequencies may cause significant amounts of pain. The user gains an echolocation type sensation, which further allows them to specifically choose what they want to hear. The ears are pointed up from the use of this. Zoka Swiftness A manual state of being that instantly increases the effective speed of the user in pre and active movement. Much like Zoka Strength, Zoka Swiftness has two modes. However, they can be used at the same time or separately. In one mode, a shell is formed around the individual that reduces air resistance. Pure energy that has been absorbed into the air relatively slows down Zoka Swiftness. A higher efficiency reduces this resistance too. The other mode is an active acceleration. The cells in the user's body receive bursts of energy for movement. The higher the stage, the more fluid transitions between part body parts move. Both modes together consume a little more than what they would separately if held for the same time each. Zoka Vision allows more accurate measurements, counts, and color. Increases the user's ability to understand what one is looking at faster. Can counter the motion blur and the instantaneous movement of Zoka Swiftness only for the user. Zoka Vision removes motion blur and improves processing of light by the retina. Zoka Vision also has the feat of being able to target light rays and increase and decrease the brightness of the desired observation. The eyes turn blue when in use. Kasai. Most common use is fire. Other uses involve combustion and light. Each stage increase decreases the vulnerability of extinguishing it. Kasai is very basic, but it can be very overwhelming at the same time. Other than streams of fire, before the fifth generation, it was used as a singular combustion. The ability to cause mass fire is a unique skill for Kasai users. As a coating for a sword, the flames can increase damage by allowing a more deep cut from melting parts of the sustain on contact. For armor plates, it can soften the blow but does not decrease damage taken. As a flame, it works as normal fire would behave. Hydro. Most common use is manipulating the air molecules around a given area. Can morph and shift larger bodies of water. This element is simply water. Its uniqueness is that it can be easily compressed to an absurd density. At only stage one, it can reach up to 43.22 grams centimeter cubed in density. It also has a sturdy resistance against other elements without needing to be dense. Most characters use them as shields or as a barrier type of protection. Ratio. A magnified version of electricity that focuses and amps energy into a single array. This element is extremely similar to lightning. Unfortunately, it takes too many oplitals for it to do damage. In addition, the path it takes cannot be controlled by the user. Another downside is that it will explode on contact during its flight time. The only positive feat of ratio is that it is extremely fast. A stage one ratio can catch up to an ace protojet using Ikase. The longer the distance it has to travel, it will do more damage without consuming more oplitals. Quarry. The most common use is ice. Takes full control of anything that has been submerged or frozen over by water. Anything made by quarry will not affect hydro. Anything made by hydro will not affect quarry. However, using quarry to freeze over hydro will turn that hydro into quarry, vice versa. Quarry is significantly more damage conductive and does not drain stamina at all if hit by it. Chimery. Most common use is the divergence of particles into a collapsed state, causing a dense fog or smoke. The small particles are arranged between three different types, reflection, refraction, and diffraction particles. 
These are used in tandem with each other to create a cloudy substance. This banding of light heats up other dust and vapor, which makes an authentic smoke on top of the already light rearranging particles. Denkai, a basic manipulation of electrons and protons in the air, can pass through objects with little defects. Most common use is electricity. Denkai is a superior elder to ratio. Unlike a single bolt, the electricity travels like a branch and is controlled by the user. After making contact, the electricity will shock it. However, the user can continue to press through this object with force. Being electrocuted by Denkai will drain stamina, stun, or negate Zokus slightly. Doku allows the user to create a constant anti-healing effect on an object or as an object. The most common usage is poison particles that disassemble conjoined particles. Doku is essentially poison in all meanings. An individual can create millions of effects and sometimes even healing effects using Doku. Its optical consumption is a little more than Pachitikyo. Pachitikyo, direct healing of someone's body and stamina. This can be used to heal yourself from any harm from illuminants. Rule one of Pachi is that it cannot restore body parts. For example, create a leg from existence. The healing element can cure toxins, poison, stop bleeding, and relieve pain. Patchy has a buffer that does not let it properly seal off or absorb liquids. It then does an opposite effect of being a poison itself. For example, a common problem is when someone is bleeding out too much, already lost a significant amount of blood, or have near their capacity amount of obletals but still bleeding. The arrangement of obletals used to heal will cause cell death or in some cases pull more blood from the victim. Flight allows one to use their pure energy as a flying device, can move at any XYZ coordination, can achieve higher velocities with wings or ikase. This alilima acts like an inner magnetic force rather than flying. The obletals convert into protons on the outer shell of the sustain. When choosing a direction, the brain signals causes electrons to appear on the inner shell of the sustain that the individual wishes to travel. This is why flying is hard to do sporadically at stage 3 and 2. At stage 1, a different usage arrangement of flight causes inner gravitation that uses air molecules to pull and push like Atoskitos and protojet which for some is much easier to use. Protojet uses pure energy as a pushing force towards a set location. One cannot change direction while using protojet. It can only be started and stopped. Protojets are bursts of pure energy being compressed and exploded. Nine obletals with H protojet and 95 efficiency at its fastest speed can send an individual over 200 yards in a millisecond. Protojets are fixed in a direction, but this direction does not have to be a straight line, but it cannot exceed a 90 degree turn. Protojets are ex extremely tactile visual principles still apply. Levitation allows casting within a fixed plane relative to the ground. Most common use would be casting a particle block midair. Levitation is one of the oddest elements. Its function being able to create a stable relation to a digia, which allows the individual to stay parallel with the ground and or always know how far they are from the ground below. With each stage, it can negate through false ground, such as being placed mid-air with a thin layer beneath. Positives of levitation is that it takes much less obletals than flight, and the user will always land on their feet. Negatives are that it must be casted on the ground first, and if a powerful enough attack hits the levitation-affected item, it will lose control or be stunned before losing control immediately. Psychokinesis allows the user to maneuver any desired object. Depending on the size and the speed the object is going to move, obliteral drainage can be quite high. This is the one of the hardest elements for characters to use, as its usage can perceive two separate planes of 2D at a single time until stage one. This makes the controlling more blocky, but those who do learn easily transition into the 3D control. 
This element is also heavy damage conducive, like celestial summoning, as the lining it makes around the desired object weakens the shield protection of dermals and sustains. A Toskito allows the user to create a fixed point on an object or plane that cr creates a new chamber of gravity. This gravity can be merged with Adagia's gravity or forged against it. This element is a pulling force that can be fixed anywhere. This plane of gravity only works in straight lines into stage one, where it can bend outer objects inward. The outputs of gravity are increased between stages. Tecoration allows the user to teleport to any marked known location or if given an assist in some way anywhere around Adagia. Requires a great amount of focus and concentration for precision. Teleport is usually instantaneous, but a low usage of oplitals or a poor teleport will cause more oplitals. Some teleports that are created with holds or carries can be manipulative for scenery in the wait period. Denoroku allows the ability to sense and differentiate an aura from other auras, an individual from another individual, an individual from a familiar. This only works if the target has a sustained active. Every aura you sense and notify will always unconsciously be remembered and felt once in proximity to the user. The amount of auras that can be associated at once and the range of proximity increases with each stage. Denroku acts like a radio tower that scans frequencies. The higher the stage, the wider range of frequencies and the higher efficiency it can perceive. Denroku scales with distance and sustain stage and efficiency. If the efficiency of a sustain is high, it will require a much less efficiency on Denroku for it to sense it. If the sustain is closer to the outer ring, it will require more focus to sense it. Denroku does not directly tell where the aura is coming from, only as an absolute zero factor. If an individual is 10 feet in front of you, using Denroku would feel like they are 10 feet away from you in every general direction. This drawback is quite easy to deal with classically, as if you don't sense an aura and you step forward and it appears, you know that the aura you are sensing is in front of you. In battle schemes, you would know if an opponent is approaching you faster than you are displacing yourself by lowering your Denroku and knowing how easy it is to feel their aura. Onyoi. Being able to sense the stage of an element is being used for anything that can support that element. Stage 3 means you can see up to stage 3. Stage 1 means that you can see stage 1 and lower. The interesting bit of Anyoi is that it cannot sense sustained auras, but can sense the sustained efficiency in stage along with other elements. Anyoi is much like Denroku's perception properties, However, it can be used more direct instead of a spherical region. Ikase Visually expresses the user's aura of any Ikase influenced in Lilliman or the user's personal aura to increase the casting speed or the effectiveness of the stages of their Lilliman's, but at the cost of using more oplitals. Ikase uses more oplitals because it enhances more every stage increase. Ikase can use any amount of manipulative elements at any numeric value. The oblital drainage exponentially increases with each one. The value of efficiency increases depends on the stage while how much oblital intake Ikase depends on the efficiency. A character may simply express their sustain in an Ikase to overexpress, which may block out other auras. If pure energy is used in an Ikase, it will of course, create a surge around them, but it may uh, also decrease damage taken by the sustain only. Aero, creation of wings that spawn from the back of one's spine. These wings increase multiple different attributes while also increasing the effectiveness of basic, novice, and pristine elements. These set of wings operate like any other pair despite the magic practicality. They offer enough strength to allow the user to fly while also providing rear protection. Eros have their own sustain slash dermal type health system, which means if they are damaged, the user sustain or dermal isn't damaged. The bigger the wings, the higher amount of increase per stage they can output. Konsietsu. 
allows the user to create a geometric position into an area in which a element effectiveness is lowered. Kansietsu or Kansietsu works as the opposite of Ikase. Instead of increasing elements, it decreases, and instead of being self-centered, it only works on others. This element also uses less oplitals than its counterpart. In that regard, it is more like the opposite of Eero rather than Ikase. However, Kansietsu does create a visual aura of the field it is manipulating. Kansietsu also has a forced output whereby massively increasing the oplital usage even greater than Ikase, the output can exponentially decrease the efficiency of elements. Neutrality allows the user to manipulate the cast of a personal cast from another individual into particles. Neutrality is the granddaddy of reverse. It can nullify magic except for the sustain and does not take that many oblitals to use itself. Neutrality is so strong that trying to cancel neutrality with another neutrality will cause a rupture that will turn all sustains off. The only downside of neutrality is that it must match the stage of the element it is consuming for maximum proficiency. If stage is either higher or lower, more oplitals would be needed for it to take effect. A element adapt. For dermals, for a short period after being hit multiple times with an element, it becomes a moon. For celestials, after being hit by an element, it absorbs a small dose of it and can be used as a multicast or an attack. This element only works for dermals and celestials. The passives of both do not require any additional oplital usage from a element adapt itself. One can simply not take damage after a while for the dermal usage if the same element is being used against them repetitively forever. Suva allows the user to convert pure energy into another individual's oplital supply. This element can be dangerous depending on how low of oplitals the receiver has. Also giving other portions of their oplitals into another individual, the user can also pull oplitals from others with the same effects applying. The rate of conversion can be increased as the stage increased. Efficiency determines the one-to-one -one scale and conversion process as some oplitals can fail to convert. Itero Ero Non-physical attached wings bound by magic increases the casting speed, power, and efficiency of advanced and elemental elements while decreasing the amount of oplitals it takes to use those elements. These set of wings operate like any other pair despite the magic practicality. They offer enough strength to allow the user to fly while also providing rear protection. Itero heroes have in their own sustained dermal type health system, which means if they are damaged, the user sustained or dermal isn't damaged. They can also hold other elements such as berry, unlike arrow, which provides even more rear protection. The bigger the wings, the higher the amount of increase per stage they can output. Kinesu, the ability to see the personal aura of another individual. This personal aura can be tracked to the current location of the individual. Unlike Denroku, there is no physical adaptation of the persons one is looking at which means one only sees auras instead of a body, and there is no limited range. Although the target does not need to have a sustained active to locate them, the user can only focus on one specific aura, even though they can see all others. The efficiency of an individual sustained does not affect the ability of Kinesu to notate them. The sensing capabilities of Kinesu is vast as it can bypass other elements to its target to a certain degree. For example, to put a Kansietsu on Kinesu, one will have to put Kansietsu on Sustain, put up th thick berries, or simply have a lot of active elements between the target and the Kinesu, as Kansietsu cannot target Kinesu without it being in proximity. If a Kinesu is being used across an ocean, the piercing effect of Kinesu will not be detected by Kansietsu, and therefore will not work immediately. Berry, an element that is made for protective shields and can incorporate other elements into it. 
The higher the stage, the stronger and more energy efficient a berry becomes. Berry, aka barriers, are crystallized obelitals that have an extreme amount of resistance. They can be in many shapes, sizes, but are majority used for defensive tactics. Berries can also be color-coded or merged with other elements without the need of personal casting. However, in order to have unique properties such as being able to create a hydro berry to a Kasai berry requires personal casting. Sustain. The amount of pressure or force an individual is protected from objects that are made from pure energy slash obelitals. It can also protect the individual from objects that are not made from pure energy slash obelitals, but this causes more wear on the body, which lowers overall stamina. The sustain's activation allows the use of other elements. With no sustain active, unless it is a locked magic itself, the only thing the individual would feel is the sustain wanting to be activated. Sustains emit auras, which can be seen using Ikase or if being sensed by Denroku. Sustains also act like a health bar. After absorbing a certain amount of damage, it will break, and the user loses access to their magic. The sustain does not actively feed off of oplitals, but oplitals must be present for it to be used or remain active. The sustain is weird as it is both a Zarya's and Tantum element. The efficiency of a sustain determines how fast an individual can raise or lower the efficiencies of other elements, while also determining how permanent it is to sense. The higher the number, the easier it is to quickly change efficiencies, but the aura is harder to sense. On the other hand, the stage of a sustain determines the amount of damage it can take. The sustain acts as if it is one thing, not as if it was like a shoe fitting a foot. However, when absorbing contacts, it flickers. When attacks are too powerful to spread the compression, the sustain expels as particles like broken glass or compressors onto the user. When these options are not available, the sustain will delegate everything it cannot absorb to its user, which causes massive stamina drain and or pain. The sustain can be bypassed completely if an impact is not able to spread around the entire sustain. The lower amounts of health, the higher chances this will happen. The sustain has two layers, one surrounding the outside skin and the other surrounding the muscle inside the skin. This includes organs. When the outer layer is penetrated at low amounts of health, the user's body can get damaged, causing wounds or scars. Considering that most times characters are being hit with over 10,000 pounds of force, moving at over 100 miles an hour, Bleeding will occur on these gashes. When the inner layer is penetrated, the sustain sucks up the blood and spews it out of the mouth, which may also go through the nose, to expel it as easily as possible. When all the health of a sustain is gone, it builds up kinetic energy before exploding away the user's body a few seconds later, or until the object is removed if penetrated. This buildup of kinetic energy are the remains of the sustain absorbing the damage of the last impact or penetration against it. This ensures the user is still in condition to live for some time, even if critical condition. If the sustain takes an extreme amount of damage or its health goes from a good to an immediately breaking condition, this feat does not occur and it results in death from organs being damaged. Sustains allow the user to sense the health of other sustains. Dermal armor. Most common form is a suit of armor that may or may not resemble metal. A body type barrier that can be used for a second sustain. Just like a barrier can incorporate other elements and can inhabit offensive and defensive attributes. Dermals are freely customizable in a sense where they can be invisible from the naked eye, but can be sensed with magic. Dermos are superficially made to protect the sustain, not the user. The health of dermos elevate per stage, but the actual use of them has to be properly created by the user or smiths. To further explain, two characters can have the same state and efficiency dermal, but one might be up by 45% better from the use of better materials, arrangement, properties, and feats. An ace dermal is like having five sustains before the actual sustain. With that, you have to understand the type of gear material being incorporated into it and how strong they are being hit. 
Dermos are separate per stage and only one per stage. Element Shield allows the user to increase the protection from certain elements. This element is like a buffer to the sustain as it is a Yannikak element. It deflects the use of, ele of the element it is shielding. For example, if an element shield is created against Kasai, that Kasai would be negated immediately, doing no damage to the element shield user. These shields can only be used against Kasai, Hydro, Kori, Denkai, Reisho, Kimari, and Doku until stage 1, where other elements are unlocked to shield against. Fukushi Diamzu a constant flashing of pure energy around the user's body which makes the user sustain and or dermal incapable of taking damage. However, the, using this element takes an immense amount of oplitos per second. The user can opt whether or not to take knockback or not at the cost of using even more oplitos. This element absorbs all damage while under its influence. A hundred people could be firing pure energy at an individual under Fukushi Diamzu and their sustain and or dermal's health would not be any lower afterwards. This element takes a hefty amount of oplitals as even for one second, 15% of an average adult's oplitals would be used. Certain aspects can be downshifted to conserve more oplitals, such as knockback, undergoing stuns, and allowing forced elements to still take effect. Kuki Sosa a subdivision of pure energy that can be used to make objects or weaker forms of other elements. The higher the stage, the more energy efficient it becomes. Kuki Sosa can definitely make anything. Kuki Sosa relies more on the brain's way of visualizing objects rather than the magical properties itself. Creating small or basic objects such as a bowl, pencil, or shoes won't cause that body as much strain without even practicing but creating more complex objects that have mechanical or engineering prospects will or start to create more of a mental pain and sometimes even physical. Creating a house, the user would have to mentally envision the house, furniture, materials, walls, everything in all shapes and sizes. Particle magic is really basic and fun in the fact that, much like every other element, it shows that with enough practice, anything is possible. Personal casting. Using a liliments in a synced way that is has its own sequence, creating a block with a block having a gravitational field, Kamiri and Otoxicato, merging two liliments into one. This allows more complex magic to be made. This is the particle magic of all liliments. Normally, creating can only be used what liliments are bound to alone in addition to only being able to use each element consecutively. Kasai could only be used as fire, then they would use protojet or Zoka strength in another sustain. With personal casting, an individual could combine all three of those into a single attack. The protojet would burst them towards something while excreting fire around their body, and the Zoka strength would damage whatever they hit. Personal casting also saves a tremendous amount of oplitals, as instead of using 10 or more different elements as sustains while in a battle, characters can use personal casting, which combines multiple elements into one. Personal cast can be verbal, nonverbal, or an assist, like a TV remote to a TV or a trigger. Reverse. Cancellation of a reasonable cast or summon. Everyone can undo or stop a cast, but after a certain point of oplitals, a certain stage of reverse is needed to stop the cast or personal cast. Characters cannot stop certain attacks without reverse. This is also a very important element for personal casting. In personal casting, the elements being used are compressed into a different form that allows them to trade and replace properties of other elements that they are being used with. However, they keep the same oblital threshold that they would have without being in a sustain. Characters can stop light cast without issues, but when casts are draining medium or heavily, it will take more oplitals to stop it than just letting it play out, like cutting off barbed wire circuit with a pair of scissors. However, reverse acts like a complete shutoff, like a switch in a circuit breaker. 
It still requires obelitals, but vastly less than without. Celestial summoning. Pure energy in the form of a weapon. This alilumen is reformed to cause damage to other physical and magical objects and entities. Much like dermals, these are heavily customized. They can be made from many different materials, shapes, designs, all of the above. Weight and density play a major role in damage as well. A small celestial spoon could be as powerful as a gigantic warhammer in the same stage and efficiency if properly made. Ancestral summoning, pure energy in the form of another existence of static or active life. There are three types. Type one is human based, type two is animal based, and type three is object based. Creations under ancestral summoning are often called familiars. These familiars can have their own lilimens given to them by their casters, who they will default call them by master. The stronger the familiar, the more oplitals post and pre first summon it will take to form them. There is no limit to how many familiars one can use. It illusion uses particles that weaken themselves to a point where they can still be used to create objects but can be easily destroyed with a tiny amount of displacement. It illusion is a focused ability, meaning the effect only applies to a certain person or persons. It illusion is particle magic without being particle magic. It is there but also not there, and its properties can be subjected to a singular or plural amount of sentient beings. It can create false sensations, visual and audible. Individuals under it illusion may be able to move, but stronger it illusions may simulate movement for them. Multicast. The ability to cast two sequences of elements or magic at once without having to reverse one's previous cast or summon. Kasai and Hadro in each of the hands of this at the same time. The ability of multicast creates an unlimited amount of casting and personal casting opportunities without the need of wasting opletals. The user could have two holds on personal casting and a sustain on Ikase at one time, while someone without multicast would have to use a sustain on personal casting, then another sustain on personal casting, and then another sustain on Ikase, wasting more than triple the amount of opletals than the multicaster. Extelemental allows the user to create extra inhuman limbs anywhere on their body. These limbs do not have a faulting point like dermal, but they are easily broken. If they are broken instead of naturally reversed, a fixed amount of 1% of oplitos is instantly consumed. These limbs are screwed from the sustained shell rather than the body itself. Each stage increase, they will become more durable and feel more second nature to the characters. These limbs can and will use other elements such as Zoka strength or creating a fireball. They are rarely used in fights because of the optical concern. Telepathy allows multiple individuals to communicate verbally and or mentally over distance. The longer the distance, the more optical is used. It can be initiated as a magic contract or as a physical marking. This communication is instantaneous. Unfortunately, it can be easily broken with strong amounts of particle magic or illusion. Fukushi allows the user to create an array of nanoparticles that mask the user from incoming light rays while simultaneously inverting the light behind the user around them, making it seem like there is nothing there. However, the basic physical interaction with the user still exists, meaning if someone hits them, they will be moved and sound still applies. Fukushi acts like an opposite Ikase effect where it compresses the aura of the user. This lowers the efficiency of elements while in use. Fukushi can also be layered across other elements without the use of personal casting or multicast. This effect can apply to nearly everything, even another Fukushi. Fukushi Vision allows the user to see nanoparticles, which cancels out the effect of Fukushi. Does not share any characteristics of Zoka Vision, but will always consume twice the amount of oplitals of the same intensity of Zoka Vision. Fukushi Vision does not have an output range within its stages. It only counter reacts if the Fukushi is equal to or less than the stage in efficiency. This element can be powered up quite faster than Fukushi as nanoparticles are constantly emitted by Adagia. Void, a dark, purplish, empty material that consumes anything it touches. 
A void is the polar opposite of pure energy, but it cannot be converted into any known element. A collision between void and pure energy creates an inner atoskito horizontally and an outer protojet vertically. For what is known about void is that it is a destructive type of magic, opposite of both Kuki Sosa and Illusion, but a mixture of both of their properties. Its mixture between other elements acts the same like pure energy. It overrides completely unless the number of obelisks is triple the amount of the voids. Void gets its name because its only physical appearance is a black spacious material substance. Opposite of pure energy is white spacious material substance. Depth for stage 2 alchemists. This stage of alchemy explains more characteristics to understand the properties of each element and how they differ. Manipulative elements are elements that can be affected by dermals, berries, konsietsu, ikasei, and both eros. In addition, these elements' maximum outputs and efficiencies can be altered by these elements. Konsietsu is an exception for this. Manipulative elements are zoka strength, flight, kasai, protojet, hydro, ratio, kori, kimari, zoka hearing, Patchy Tikio, Zoka Swiftness, Personal Casting, Zoka Vision, Ikase, Denkai, Atoskito, Konsietsu, and Tekaration. Zarios elements have an unregisterable numeric value that can change optical conversion rates. Zoka Strength is a prime example as one can increase and decrease their strength within a single stage. The weaker strength in the stage will consume less optals. Zarios elements include Zoka Strength, Flight, Protojet, Berry, Ratio, Sustain, Kimmery, Zoka Swiftness, Personal Casting, Ikase, Psychokinesis, Denkai, Ataskito, Suva, Kansietsu, Doku, Itaro Iro, and Itillusion. Tantum elements are elements that do not have an output and only use stage and efficiencies. Tekuration is a prime example as there is no gauge on a fixed outer range of output like Zoka strength. Tantum elements include Kasai, Levitation, Hydro, Denroku, Kuki Sosa, Anyoi, Kori, Sustain, Dermal Armor, Reverse, Celestial Summoning, Extelemental, Eero, Elilement Shield, Telepathy, Ancestral Summoning, Fukushi, Fukushi Vision, Neutrality, Elilement Adapt, Kenosu, Void, Fukushi Diamzu, and Tekaration. Octube elements are rejected magic influences that do not have any known or figurative correlation to be made elements. Octube elements include Oplitals, Pure Energy, Trance, and Kick It, which is being able to sense Oplitals. Stellos elements are elements that do not retract Oplitals after they are used or reversed. Casts that are continuum do not count. Stellos elements include Levitation, Denroku, Ratio, Anyoi, Personal Casting, Extelemental, Element Shield, It Illusion, Void, and Tekaration. Yanni Kek elements are elements that do not require the activeness of an element to understand what it is. For example, Anyoi can sense what psychokinesis is without the user having psychokinesis. Yanni Kek elements include Berry, Kukisosa, Anyoi, Konsietsu, Element Shield, Neutrality, Elilement Adopt, and It Illusion. 